Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Michigan Record Club. Today, I think we will just do another record finds, try to get caught up for the uh, end of the year. Um, I got a, a pretty much a mixed bag of, uh, of records. They're all over the place, but uh, some good ones in here. First off, I'm going to start out with uh, a compilation. This is The Kitchen Sink. And uh, they were a band out of Texas, uh, northern part of Texas. Uh, they were really big uh, during that time that they were out there, uh, which is... 65 through 68 um, they sound a lot like the Beatles maybe um, similar to that kind of pop music and uh, this was, was really good um, the band is really good too the only problem was is they uh, decided to uh, to get bigger. They wanted to uh, move up, and and they knew they were doing well there locally. Um, so they went out to California, and once they got out to California, uh, they just seemed to fall flat. Uh, there's a little booklet that came with it too. That will tell you all about their their um, their trek through uh, through the music business. But uh, yeah, it was a good uh, two album record. Next up, we got Fluid Druid. Now, the Fluid Druid is a uh, UK psych band, um, again, from that uh, same era around, uh, now, this, this, they were actually in the 70s, mid-70s. Um, dogs are knocking at the door. But anyhow, yeah, I really like this. I had this album again when I was younger. This is the the inner sleeve. Kind of nice. And it's on uh, EMI out of, uh, I don't know, out of England, out of Germany. Out of England. Pressed in England. Um, yeah, that's that really good. There's a couple of Druids bands named Druid. And uh, I think both of them are pretty good. But uh, this one I really like. There's another album that they did. They only did two uh, albums officially. Uh, but very good. Next up is a new album, David Lee Roth. Uh, David, uh, had made some, some pink, light pink vinyl. He'd made some albums back when he first left Van Halen and those records did pretty good. This particular album, the music was more like uh, like the Ice Cream Man. He did that album, that song on one of the fir the first album, and uh, it seemed like all the songs were in kind of that vein. It, w it wasn't uh, it wasn't as good as I was hoping for, but it's all right. We'll keep her. 
Next up, let's see if I can get this right. Sometimes I screw it up. West Coast Pop Art Experimental Band. Now this one is, of course, on uh, MOV, Music on Vinyl, and it's numbered. This one is uh, 1451. Uh, I really like this album. I, I also had uh, this album. Music on Vinyl did both of those albums now. But, uh, yeah, I, I think the first album, this is the third. Both of them are really good. Um, the second one is is good too, but uh, Music on Vinyl hasn't did the second one yet. Kind of waiting for them to step up and uh, do another, take a shot at that album. Uh, moving right along. This is a, another reissue of uh, Illinois. Um, if you look it up on Discogs, you would leave the E off as the state is spelled. Um, I had this album also back when I was younger. And uh, it's good. Um, just It's kind of mellow. It's just easy listening. A uh, little couple of the... Uh, songs are a little bit more a little rocks a little bit harder but uh there's a couple in here that have a, a psych quality uh, i would tell you the guy's name his last name is stevens suff john stevens uh, moxie this one was uh, suggested to me by, I'm not sure, I can't remember who, I apologize, but uh, I also had this album back in the day. Uh, this one came out in uh, 1975. Uh, they did a few albums. Uh, this one, I think, was their best shot at uh getting uh, up in the one top 100 but uh and i think it's sail on sail away or can't you see i'm a star maybe it's can't you see i'm a star it's, it's good good rock and roll uh not too hard but um solid Next up, I was looking for this one. Uh, this is a an original English UFO, uh, and uh, of course I had uh, I bought this one not too long ago. Their first album. This is their second album. And I don't know where the U is. Uh, you look at it, and it doesn't look faded at all. It just looks like it's missing. <laughs> so where's the U in UFO? Uh, it's on AKA Records. That's the label there. Upside down. The label there. Love this album. That's uh, That's the album I, I would uh, I would recommend to anybody. Um, this one I would too. Uh, Tesla's uh, me Mechanical Resonance. And uh, I had this original. This is a, a, a Black Fi Friday exclusive that didn't make it in time and so they just came out uh, a couple weeks ago uh, but that's 
that's a great album. Um, there's like uh, like all hits on there, almost like a best of. And then we have L.A. Guns, Checkered Past. Now this one came out just uh, this year, in 2021. Um, it's really good, uh, solid rock and roll. Um, it was uh, re released by uh, Frontier, or, I'm not really sure. I think it's Frontier. That is the uh, label, kind of a marbled, dirty white. And I really like that. It, and I really was happy with that. I was afraid that they were, weren't going to sound all that great, but that one was pretty good. This was probably the biggest uh, album of the bunch today. This is a psych, folk psych uh, album from the uh, UK. This is uh, the British version of Skid Row. And uh, I've been wanting this. I had listened to it online, uh, streaming, and it is a, a very good folk psych album. Some of the songs rock a little harder, but uh, it's not a uh, real hard, hard uh, metal sound. It's pretty much just a good rock and roll. And here's Hope. She's been running around my feet here wanting me to pick her up and say hi. So, And the last one for today is Keith Richards' uh, Expensive Winos. And this is a live album. Uh, it is a uh, from last year, 2020. And here's the the old man. A uh, couple pictures of him in the group there. But yeah, you know Keith is a great guitarist, excellent songwriter. Um, but when it comes to singing, it's a good thing that he has. Uh, some backup vocalists and people singing with him so uh so that's it for today uh, i'm going to try to see if i can't put together a uh, best of 2021 um i don't know if i'll get it right away or not but uh i'm going to work at it for a while I got a couple other records uh, in the mail just the other day, and they are behind me, uh, waiting. I could have added them, but I didn't. I've just just played them both a uh, couple of times is all. I would usually like to get a better feel of the albums before I uh, do a video. But um, other than that, uh, I want to thank you and hope you all had a good Christmas. And I hope that we all have a good 2022. And uh, for Michigan Record Club and me and Hope, uh, thank you again. Bye-bye.